Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Dion. We're going to start here with Chapstick. This is the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy because we do what we want to do with our makeup. The troll part is not paying too much attention to what the beauty community standards of beauty are, but just wearing what we want to wear, whatever brand, use whatever tools we want to, use whatever techniques we want to use to apply our makeup to get it on our face the way we want it to. Here it is about embracing our natural features, enhancing them when we want to, but not feeling like we have to because of somebody else's standards or opinions or suggestions. And self-acceptance, self-love, because at the end of the day, morning, whenever you remove your makeup, it is important for you to love you for who you are and for how you look. I do curse on my channel sometimes, but all of that is part of what the Crazy Troll Nation stands for, and this is what else you'll see here. I should have primed one eye at a time because I'm going to do one look one eye, one look on the other eye. We're still using the soon to be released um, Nomad palette. It releases on July 12th. What I wanted to do today is, is to try to use, well not try to, well yeah, use these on their own paired with the other shades because I realized in all of my videos I used all of these as toppers. So. Yeah, so we're going to do some experimenting, and I'm hoping you're not tired of these videos. I have a base face. I didn't put on concealer, as you can probably tell, and I am hella tired. And, um, yeah, so we're going to get started. We're going to take this shade here with the Esom T37 brush. We're going to take this shade here, same brush but a clean one. We're going to take this shade here. This is a Fenty 230 brush. We're going to take the first brush, not adding any more shadow, but just pulling it over to get a blend. We're going to take a clean one, this shade here. We're going to take that second brush that had this shade on it and pull that over. We're going to take this shade here. This is a Makeup Forever 234 brush. We're going to switch to a clean one. Oh, same shade though, only because we're using it on the other side. We're going to be chancy. Because we know how I look in pastels. We're going to take this shade here. This is a Scott Barnes number 62 brush. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Just want to tip with a brush. We want to tap off. We're going to wipe that brush off. And we're going to go into this shade here. I'm realizing all of my looks have been monochromatic and I thought I was going to end up with something different this time. I'm going to put that brush down. I'm going to take a clean one and we're going to go into this shade. So these are kind of like, it seems like the same looks we did before. We're going to brush that off and go into this shade. We're going to go into this center shade. This is a Fenty 220 brush. That's pretty. We're going to take a clean one, same shade, for the other eye. I just put a NYX retractable eyeliner in gold on my lower lash line as a base for shadow I'm going to put under there. We're going to be funky. And we're going to take this shade here. This is a Makeup Forever number 210 brush. And we're going to press it in. We're going to take a clean one and go into this shade. We're going to press it in. We're going to take an Esom V33. And we're going to take this shade here to buff out our lower lash line. 
We're also going to use it for our transition area. Actually, that's the brow bone area. Oh, that looked dusty. Damn. So on bare skin, it shows up as dust. And it blends out other colors well. But I don't like that now. Because now it looks too dusty, I think. I do believe we just use nine shades between both of the looks. Wow. We're going to use Fenty Fly Liner and because I'm black on our upper lash line for both eyes. This is skipping over the shimmer on the lid. So that's looking janky. And so what I think I'm going to end up doing is taking that black shade, that charcoal dark shade, and cover that up, topping it over this liner. We're going to take an ESOM T03 and going into this shade to top that liner. For fun, we're going to take NYX Retractable Eyeliner and Snatched on our lower inner rim. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara on top and bottom lashes. I'm going to wipe off some chapstick. I picked up a lipstick at random and it turned out to be <laughs> MAC La Femme. Random, y'all. I just picked whatever. Uh, I thought it was going to be darker. Hmm. I'm going to take this Nomad lip gloss. We're just going to tap. She cute. This here is the finished look. I wanted to try to do something different. I wanted to see how the shimmers would look without having... A darker shade underneath it and I can actually say I think these might be my most favorite looks because it does look more blended than the other looks that I've done even though I like the club look that's my vibe but I am really digging these too and so I wanted to just show you initially what the shadows look like on their own and over a base um, just to get all the shades on my eyes for you to see. And this one, oh, I just hit my lip. And this one was just to play around and just try something different, be a little adventurous. And I do actually like both of these. And so my final thoughts about this palette overall. My opinion has changed some dealing with some of the lighter shades as transition shades in this look. When I used them initially, I thought, I am just too friggin' ashy. And pastels do tend to make me look ashy, but with the combination of over the shimmers, this time it just worked, and I'm not sure why. Um, but what I will say is, all the shades do perform really well. This row, I do put my lid shades first over the Fenty primer, which is a tacky primer, because they will stick. If you do your transition and your outer corner first and your crease first, you will need to go in with either a wet brush or, as you saw me in the other videos, use sponge tip applicators or maybe even use your finger. So you may have to do something like that or use a glitter glue. But you see, just over a tacky primer, the lid shade stuck really well. So I am really liking this row. These two... Are, were very similar, almost identical on my lid. However, you did see some differentiation between outer lash line and inner lash line with these two shades. It's still a little too close for comfort for me, but I do like how it turned out with this look. This shade is great as a base for any of these, and this is great, as you see, for deepening up if you use other colors on your lid or in your outer corner, and it's also good for your upper lash line and I'm sure your lower lash line too. So this shade right here is very versatile and what it can do to the other shades. This shade right here surprises me. It does show up a little more green on me than it looks in the palette, but it adds a nice pop of wow. And so I do like how that turned out too. So I will say, I think I might've just said it, these are my favorite looks with this palette so far. Do I recommend this palette? I'm torn 
because initially like this whole row is pastel and I don't like me in pastels they make me look ashy this one is great for blend out it doesn't show up on my skin tone at all except just to make it look a little dusty but it's good for buffing out other shades and so it does serve a purpose but these two and these two my first couple looks I was just like mm, like I don't know um these two initially looked identical on the lid just about so it was like why are you there so my thoughts have changed a little bit what I recommended that's what I'm asking myself if you think you will get use and enjoy using this entire palette yes get it don't just get it because you like the shimmers don't just get it because you like the pastels um, because it's $39 and for me I like to be able to use the entire palette and like every look that I do or if I don't tweak it later into something that I do really enjoy <sighs> if you enjoy this type of color story get the palette if it's fun for you get the palette if you don't look good in pastels this entire row if pastels tend to make you look ashy or they don't show up on your skin tone don't get the palette unless you're just one of those people who will just mix and match different palettes what's going on with my lip over here it's lippy control is easily distracted so I do recommend it if you will get use out of all of this, either with these over base or just over tacky primer. I like how each pastel shade has a deeper shade. Well, almost, this is almost, but you know. So you can pair those together. And I do think they did that. So if you put this down, you can blend it with this. You put this down, blend it with that. Put this, blend it with that. Put this, blend it with that. Put this, blend it with that. Why did I have to say it five times? Because you knew what I was saying and where I was going with that. And pop one of these just on the lid or in the sensor or a nice halo eye. Um, so I like how they structured the palette. Also, you need to like mattes if you're going to get this palette because this is a 15 pan palette. This is the only row of shimmers. If you really like matte shadows and these are your types of shades, then yeah, go ahead and get it because this middle row is the only shimmers you're going to get, which is five. So you have 10 mattes and five shimmers. So it is matte heavy. And I, as I said, they paired it in a way where you can just, you know, do certain looks, monochromatics, or you can try and get a little spicy like I tried to get today. Not quite going to the club, but you know, we got a little bit of stuff going on and I think it looks pretty. So that's my recommendation. If you are really unsure about it, wait till whenever it goes on sale, which because it's new, it might be a year. I don't know. <laughs> I do have a 10% off code. You will receive 10%, excuse me, off of your order. It is not affiliated. I do not receive commission, but you will save some money. The glosses. This is my first time putting a gloss over a bullet lipstick. I like how it looked. I like how it gave a shine. I like how it altered the color just a little bit. And I do recommend the glosses if you really believe that you're going to use them. If you don't want to wear these on their own, try to imagine what they would look like over a bullet lipstick or over a liquid lipstick. Because these colors are not for the faint of heart. A lot of people didn't really care for the shades, but I do because I, I just like those shades. Um, on their own and or over another lippy and so that's something to consider too how much use are you going to get out of them and so those are my thoughts on this palette of course excuse me for smacking the packaging is awesome of course the inside is a perfect representation of what's on the outside regarding the color story and so those are just my thoughts on this and I did already record a video swatching on my face the lippies on their own and over a black liquid lip and i also did another video i'll put it into one video though of the shimmer row by themselves and over a black base so you can see the difference that way because that might change your opinion about those shimmers um yeah so that's going to be it let me know what you think and thank you for hanging with me through all of these videos with the same palette 
Um, I know most people do three and ones or five and one. Some people did seven looks on video, and I'm just doing one look every video except for this one, one on each eye, which I know is not preferred. Um, but that is going to be it. Um, do you think you'll get this palette? What are your thoughts on it? And yeah, that'll be it. And so just kind of hang tight and see whatever pops up over here and click on something else to watch. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And you will see me in the next video. Thanks. Thank you.